Hi guys, my name is Becky and I'm here from the Sorry Girls and this week we are doing a mini series of really trendy gift ideas that you can make for somebody this holiday season, all which can be made in under an hour and are very affordable to do as well. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous faux leather tote bag and matching wallet. So to start, I'm going to show you how to make the tote bag. It's really easy to do and totes are a great gift because everyone can use them to put anything in, especially now that we're moving to a plastic free world. Totes are the greatest gift and you can suddenly be like, hey, use this instead of a plastic bag. You look cooler too than the grocery store bag. So the first step you're going to need to do is to lay out your fabric on a table and determine how big you want your bag to be. This can be any size, it can be laptop size, it can be smaller, do whatever you want. But just remember our first measurement is going to be drawing out double the length because we'll be folding it in half. So ours drawn out is 34 inches long by 55 and a half inches wide. So trace out the measurements onto your fabric and cut them out. Then we're going to fold it together with the good sides facing in. Sew so along each of the vertical sides with a straight stitch. Then you're going to want to do this funky thing where you pull out the sides to reveal the pointed corners. Use a ruler and measure two inches down on the side seam and mark a straight line across. Sew across this line and make sure to repeat this on both sides. So doing this funky corner fold sewing thing is actually going to create a formed base for your bag. This is much better to put larger things in instead of having one of those like skinny slim tote bags, you know the ones, they're not great for big things. Then you get the satisfying moment of flipping the bag around and seeing how it looks. So now we're going to work on the straps. Cut out two straps, ours are 48 inches long by one and a quarter inch wide. Then fold them in half to create two 24 inch straps with the good sides facing out. Sew two straight stitches on each side of the straps. Then cut off both edges to make the straps a little slimmer and to make the edges perfectly even. If you didn't get them that straight the first time, we're human. Relatable. <laughs> Relatable. Then you can pin them in place on top of the tote bag we made earlier. We did them two inches from the sides and one inch down on the inside of the bag. We opted for this fancy X pattern on each strap to attach it to the bag. This is so easy to do. You could probably do it in like half an hour. You could make them all for your friends in different colors, in different fabrics. I love this DIY, it's so good. So next up, I'm going to show you how to make this super easy, minimalist little card holder. You could do it out of like a matching fabric to the tote and gift them as a set, or you could do them separately um, and keep one for yourself. Best way to do Christmas gifts. We're going to start by using the width of a card to measure out the size of the card holder. You'll want to leave a good amount of space for seam allowance and trimming. Since this is such a small thing that we're working on, don't worry about leaving a lot of extra fabric at the moment because working with this in a sewing machine, as it's so small, is pretty tricky. So I'm going to leave some extra fabric on the side that we're going to cut down after. Place your card in the position you'd want it with as much spacing sticking out of the top as you'd like. Mark this spot with a pin. Sew along this line. This is going to prevent your card from slipping all the way into the middle of the wallet and then you can't get them out when you need them. So for the next steps, we're going to pretend like we're making a really fun taco stack. Like you know when you get the hard shells in a box and they're all stacked nicely? Like this. So take a new piece of leather and then wrap it around the original piece that we just sewed in the last step, but make sure that it sits lower down like this. <laughs> oh my god, I want to eat tacos now. So this time cut it shorter so that when it's stacked up against the first piece, the edges are lower down than the last. Place your card in this new layer and mark your desired placement with a pin through both layers. Sew along this line through both layers as well. And repeat this one last time for your final layer, but this time don't sew on the bottom here because the bottom of the wallet is literally going to be what stops your card from falling. We should just compare all of our DIYs to food. Pin up both of the side pieces of your wallet using a straight stitch on either side. Also make sure to back stitch every time you cross a layer to make sure your card holder is strong and secure when you take cards in and out. When you're sewing, be sure to sew close to the size of your card. This is going to help your cards to fit snug once the whole thing is complete. Don't worry if the edges of the wallet seem too big at this point because we're going to trim them down with a sharp pair of scissors. And then your mini wallet is done and this is so small but honestly it holds, do me do math, this technically holds five cards but if you put a bunch in each pocket uh, like I do then you could fit as many as you want. 
The taco steps maybe seemed a little complicated, but trust me, this is so easy to do and it took even less time than the tote bag did. So just make them. I hope you guys enjoyed these really easy tote bag and wallet DIYs. This is a mini series that we're gonna be doing all week where we talk about a bunch of different DIYs that are really easy to do, really affordable, and take less than an hour to make. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the three other DIY videos that are coming this week, all holiday gift ideas that are so easy to do. I'm also gonna link our Christmas holiday playlist and our general DIY playlist below that has a million other DIY ideas that you could also make for the holiday season as well. A million? probably getting close to. I hope you guys like this video, so if you did like it, make sure to give it a like, and if you loved it, make sure to sub it, and we will see you next time, which is tomorrow. Okay, bye.